Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today as I try to show off the best of modern retro gaming. Grandpa, Grandpa! I told you he'd be asleep. He's always asleep. Grandpa! Uh, 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 my, my little grandchildren, what a nice surprise. He woke up, it's a miracle. Grandpa, please tell us a story. Yeah, a story. Hmm, have I told you about the brave elf boy who lived in a magical land called? Yes, I like a million times. One we haven't heard yet, Grandpa. Hmm, <laughs> I know just the one. I'll tell you the tale of the Grand King of Blossom. Yay! In this charming kingdom lived a young girl named Lily. Lily enjoyed a quiet, peaceful life with her grandma. That is, until the day she was waiting for had finally arrived. The story begins on a very special day for our hero. Was it her birthday, Grandpa? No, today was much more special than a birthday. Some days only come once in a lifetime. Oh, okay, this is Blossom Tales. It's a little bit of an older game, but it is very fun. I've played through it before already, and I'd like to share it with you guys. So let me know what you think about this game. And uh, yeah, it's a fun Zelda-esque kind of game. And yeah, just let me know. See, let me know if you would like to see more. Um, I'm planning to play through it unless there was a, you know, a big uproar, I guess. Oh my, she's still in bed. Come on, sleepyhead, wake up. Good morning, Lily. Oh no, I slept in. You were so excited about today you, that you couldn't fall asleep, could you? Of course not. I've been waiting for this day my entire life. Just remember, if you ever need advice, you can come to me. You better go before they get started without you. Love you, Grandma. Okay, well, let's get going. Let's see what we have. Okay, we need to run off. Lily put out her map, pulled out her map with a mark, her destination with a yellow square. There we go. So we need to go there. Okay, so we need to go over, it looks like, and up one. Over one and up one. And that is... Whoa, map. Uh, I need to go up another. Okay. We need to go up one more. Let's see what we got up here. So yeah, this is a very Zelda-esque game, as you can tell. It is a lot of fun. And it's exciting. I like how they do the story in a story. And I like just, it's a very good playthrough game, great mechanics. And I want to share it with you guys, even if it's a little bit older. Uh, it, it does, uh, it is on Steam and uh, the Switch and maybe other ones, but I know those for sure. Lily had just discovered a portal stone. If she activates another one, she'll be able to teleport between them. Go oh, Let's go in here and see what is going on the big day. Fortunately, Lily made it just in time for the ceremony. Was she going to become the new queen or something? Oh, not exactly. And last but not least, I dub the Dame Lily. What's a dame, Grandpa? It should be Sir Lily. <laughs> if you say so. I mean, Sir Lily. Arise, Lily. You are now a Knight of the Rose. And look at that. We got all kinds of Knight of Rose people. Knight of the Rose. Cool. Why are we in blue, though, if we're Knight of the Rose? Everybody else is red. The safety of this kingdom will one day rest on you, young warriors. Our wizard, Karokas, will now bless the new knights. Certainly, brother. May the rose be with you, knights. 
Listen up, recruits. The dungeons are infested with rats and need to be cleared out. Any volunteers? <laughs> Everybody runs away. Lily, great. The entrance to the dungeon is in the hallway left of the library. Check your map if you get lost. With sword and... Oh, with sword. I've lost my voices already. With sword and shield in hand. That's not right. Lily was now a true knight of the rose. I'm not the best at voice, uh, um, voicing characters, but I do find it exceedingly fun to try to do so. So this looks like a library. Let's go over here and see if we can run into walls by the dungeon. We got a little shield, a little sword, swing, swing, swing. Let's go. That's probably the dungeon entrance. Oh yeah. Lily entered the dungeon, cold dungeon, unaware of the dangers that lie ahead. <gasps> All right, so let's get rid of some rats. It looks like this is, you know, obviously a Zelda game and we've got to break all of the pots and kind of explore around and see what we've got as we go on. Yeah, I, I beat the game. I did not play 100% so there is definitely things that I could find and learn about the game still. So I'm kind of just excited to maybe do some exploring and see what else is in this game. The statues looked as if they had been moved recently. Okay, well, let's see if we can move the statues, but let's get rid of the rats because, you know, that's what we were told to do is get rid of the rats and open treasure chests, of course, you know. Lily found a health potion. She could use it any time by reaching into her bag and drinking it down. So we could actually set that up. These are all set up so that you could all switch these around however you want it. So if you wanted, um, I think you can. Oh yeah, so if you wanted your health potion to be X instead of B, you can you just you know go over to the one and whatever button you wanted to hit. Um, so yeah, but well, eh. eh. Get out of there now. Okay, let's see what we can find to move. Drag. Oh, not that one. Obviously, that was not an important one. Drag. Pushing things and uh, kill us. Bombing things, I guess, is the big big thing to do. And, and traps. Buttons. Buttons hidden under statues. That's what we got. Ooh. Breaking treasure chest. Yeah. We got a gold coin. Yeah. We got hurt too. We got to figure out how to get that. Oh, we got a heart. Sweet. One, we got, we must be in the uh, uh, dungeon or something. There's a uh, spiders. Ouch. There, I wish I'd open that. There's a treasure chest up there. Can I open these somehow? Is there a way to open up? Because I would really like to do that. I better have a power up move too. Yeah, there we go. But you gotta be careful these platforms here will fall away once you out um hit them once so you gotta be really careful when you're going over these it's a very fun game i've played through it like i said and i would recommend it if you enjoy zelda-esque games definitely uh pick this one up on either steam or switch or maybe one of the other games as well or the other consoles Lily could reach the lower levels by uh, going to the edge and hopping down. Well, that was very useful. I love the whole concept of story in the story um, mechanics. I just think that's a fun thing to do. It's it's interesting and how they weave it into the story here is is particularly well done, in my opinion. Do a roundhouse, Lily. To do a roundhouse, Lily had to hold her sword and release after building enough energy. She could also perform a jumping strike by slashing down during the roundhouse. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Oh, wow. That was kind of cool. I didn't know I could do that. Or maybe I forgot I could do that. That's probably the more accurate term here. Uh-oh. Well, yep. Lily froze in disbelief as wave of error shot over a rickety path. I bet her shield can help her with the arrows. You're right, Lily. You're so smart. So yeah, we just, they do give you some knockback here. So you got to be careful when you get hit. It will push you back a little bit. So especially like right here, you got to make sure that you're not going to go off the edge. But yeah, eh. 
Oh, yeah. oh, go. It does use a little bit of energy to use your shield. But oh, well, we fell. And the bad thing about falling is it starts you back to the beginning and you lose a half health. So definitely go wide around the corners. So it uses a lot of magic things that like, or this um, stamina or whatever you want to call it. Ugh. Um, for various items, which is really nice. Um, some items that you would have used like in a, a typical Zelda game, you would have used um, um, money for to buy or something like that. Um, you, they uses magic this way and that's, it makes it a little bit easier to deal with that you're not always having to get, um, ouch. Um, all the, um, what's the word? Like buy, um, um, like bombs and stuff over and over again. So let's see if we can push one of these things. Not that one. Can I push that one? Nope. I don't think so. One of these I have to be able to push something. I have to be able to do something here. There we go. There's the button. I found the button. I found the button. I found a bunch of rats of what I found. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now is it going to be this one again? No, not that one. It tells you, I kind of wish you could move all of them. That's one of the things that I wouldn't like about this. All these statues should be movable so that it makes it a little bit more difficult to figure out which one is the right one. Because all I have to do is go up to one of them and it'll tell me, yeah, see that says drag. So I know immediately that's the one I need to pull. Like the other ones don't even say drag when I walk up to them. So it's kind of like, I don't know, defeats the purpose of that um puzzle hey there's another uh, oh we can throw the bots yep there's a second portal lily can now travel between all the portal stones she finds awesome that's very helpful so let's jump in here this is probably the rat king the deepest room of the dungeon lily found the sound source of the noise it was the king of the rats ah cute the dangerous rat king would be Lily's first really challenge as a knight. Yep. He is kind of cute. Squee! You'll make a fine meal for my children once I blow you to smithereens. Oh, right. so we know that we can pick things up. So we pick, oh wait, wait, not the blowing up ones, but we pick it up and then we, oh, it's almost like Mouser. We've got to uh, 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 take care of him with the uh, bombs throw oh that's the wrong way that was not the right oops pick it up throw it up that way ouch and of course doing that ouch brings more rats so he gets hurt he summons rats so we got to be careful about that let that one blow up yeah let that one blow oh let him i think actually i could hit him if i do it right i could hit it back right back up to him there we go yay and we got our the full heart lily was now Strong, even stronger there we go look at that and then of course we get b -b bombs my science teachers say explosives are dangerous rightfully so Chris but our young knight could use them to destroy enemies obstacles in her path and cracked walls so then we go just again the same kind of thing whether we want this to be X or B, however we want to do it. We don't even have to have it so that we have our shield available if we don't want to. So like the bombs use um, that magic or energy, however you want to say it, um, instead of actual, um, what's the word? Quantity. After defeating the king rat, a curious lily entered the secret doorway. It led to a strange room filled with many smelly odors. So she's in a bathroom? No. What? Oh, no, no. It was Crocus's secret lab. Cool, I wish I had a secret lab. It was there that Lily would find an awful note revealing Crocus's evil plan. Yeah, and the note reads, Do not read this unless you're me. 
Soon I will finally be powerful enough to cast a sleeping spell on my foolish brother, King Orchid. With him out of the way, I will amass an army in the wastelands and I will use it to launch an assault on the kingdom. The flowery throne of Blossom Kingdom will be mine at last. Ha ha ha. After reading the note, Lily ran off to warn the king as fast as she could. But unfortunately, she was too late. Crocus had already started his dreaded curse. No! Uh oh. Oh, how I have waited for this moment, dear brother. You will sleep soundly while I conquer your kingdom with my own dark army. Your loyal subjects will soon bow down to their new wizard king. That's not good. Stop! What's this? You choose the wrong wizard to interrupt a feeble recruit. Ouch. I got like shot with the little wizard thing. Sleep, my brother, sleep. Lily is dead and the king is cursed. Why, Grandpa, why? She can't be dead, silly. The story just started. Oh, 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 that's right. By cursing the king with a spell of eternal sleep, Crocus could now make his move. What a jerk. The wizard Crocus has wrought mischief to our king, but fear not. Knights, the future of our kingdom rests on your shoulders. With three sacred ingredients found outside these walls, we can make a legendary potion that can remove the curse. Without our king, Cocos will raise an army and bring doom upon us all. We should not fail our beloved king. They all march out in perfect unity. What about Lily? She's going to help too, right? Ah, uh, what do you think, kids? Lily is brave. Of course she'll help. Where is the first ingredient? I must, I want to assist the knights. The task is far too dangerous for new recruit. Stay here and continue your training, young one. But despite her orders, Lily was determined to help save King Orchid. Even if it meant venturing into dangerous land she had only heard about in stories. Places even the best of knights fear to enter. She's not afraid. Yes, yeah, so where does Lily have to go first, Grandpa? She must go to, um, let's see, I think I forgot? Grandpa! Wait, I remember. Lily must go to an ancient land known as Golem's Haven. There she will find the first ingredient for the potion, Fairy Clover. reach Golem Haven, Lily must venture south of Blossom Castle and into the wilds. Here we go, let's go. It does show us up on our map where we need to go, so that's very helpful, but we kind of got to explore our way there. So I think that's going to be, that's a good place to end this episode. I think we're going to end there, and we are going to you know explore and go on let me know what you think about this game and uh if you would like to see more i, I have a fun i'll play this game straight through and have a lot of fun playing it but yeah if you want to see something else or uh want to see more of this let me know down in the comments below i'll be happy to oblige you the way thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it and i'll see you all next time bye everybody